Welcome to this festive video with tips on how you can prevent overdraw in graphics applications. We tend to see overdraw when we've shaded pixels multiple times unnecessarily. Now, for some entry-level mobile devices, even with very simple layers, this causes performance problems. In the example here, lots of overlapping layers make up a parallax background for a 2D game. You can build this by cutting out each layer and stacking them on top of each other using transparency to blend the layers. Here's the problem. Each time one layer goes on top of another, the GPU has to process each pixel, even if that pixel is eventually hidden by a higher layer. So for much of the scene, the work done to render the lower layers is totally wasted. Here's a solution for getting better results. Split the draw call for each layer into two an opaque draw call and a transparent one. The cutout regions don't need to be exact, and also adding triangles is not free, so you should use simple approximate geometry to limit any additional GPU processing. This way, the average overdraw drops dramatically and the GPU has less than half the workload to process. Another tip is to render opaque draw calls front to back and transparent draw calls back to front. This way, Mali GPUs can use early Z testing to discard the parts of the scene you won't see in the final output. Now, if you have to render all the layers back to front, all is not lost. Mali GPUs can detect pixels that are destined to be overwritten by future opaque objects and kill them before fragment shading. With ARM Mobile Studio, you can easily check the level of overdraw in a scene. Capture data from an unrooted Android device and explore the behaviour of your content. That's me just about done for now, but you can find out more tips on optimising mobile graphics on ARM Developer website. Thanks for watching and enjoy your festive holiday. Bye bye!